Happy Rabbit is the name sometimes used for an early rabbit character from the Looney Tunes and Merry Melody series, who eventually became the Warner Brothers Cartoon Studios' most famous character, Bugs Bunny. Created by Ben Hardaway in 1938, the rabbit first appeared in the short Porky's Hair Hunt. Like most of the other Looney Tunes characters, this character was voiced by Mel Blanc, History. The rabbit made his debut in the 1938 Looney Tunes short, Porky's Hair Hunt, directed by Ben Hardaway. Similar in tone and execution to the previous year's Porky's Duck Hunt, which introduced Staffy Duck, Porky's Hair Hunt involves Porky hunting a white rabbit whose wild antics drive him mad. Mel Blanc would later use a similar sounding voice characterization as the voice of Walter Lance's Woody Woodpecker. The rabbit character was popular enough with audiences that the termite terrorist staff decided to use it again. Chuck Jones used the rabbit as a foil in his 1939 short Presto Changeo, the rabbit's second appearance. In this short, he antagonizes the two curious puppies. The rabbit was the focal point of his third short, Harem Scarum, 1939 for which he was redesigned as a gray rabbit with large buck teeth, apricot-colored gloves and mouth, black nose, black-tipped ears, and the same voice that he had in Porky's Hair Hunt and in Presto Changeo. In this cartoon, a hunter goes after him for food upon learning about high meat prices. Charlie Thorson, lead animator and character designer on the film, gave the character a name. He had written Bugs Bunny, B-U-G apostrophe S, on the model sheet that he drew for Hardaway. In promotional material for the cartoon, including a surviving 1939 press kit, the name on the model sheet was altered to become the rabbit's own name, Bugs Bunny. Quotation marks only used on and off until 1944 around the word Bugs. In his autobiography, Blanc claimed that another proposed name for the character was Happy Rabbit. In the actual cartoons of publicity, however, the name Happy only seems to have been used in reference to Bugs Hardaway. In Harem Scarum, a newspaper headline reads, Happy Hardaway. Animation historian David Gerstein disputes that Happy Rabbit was ever used as an official name, arguing that the only usage of the term came from Mel Blanc himself in humorous and fanciful tales he told about the character's development in the 1970s and 1980s. The name Bugs Bunny was used as early as August 1939 in the motion picture Harold and a movie review for the short Harem Scarum. Thorson had been approached by Ted Pierce, head of the story department, and asked to design a better rabbit. The decision was influenced by Thorson's experience in designing hares. He designed Max Hare and Toby Tortoise Returns, Disney 1936, for Hardaway, Thorson created the model sheet previously mentioned with six different rabbit poses. Thorson's model sheet is a comic rendition of the stereotypical fuzzy bunny. He had a pear-shaped body with a protruding rear end. His face was flat and large, expressive eyes. An exaggerated long neck, gloved hands with three fingers, oversized feet, and a smart aleck grin. The end result was influenced by Walt Disney Animation Studios' tendency to draw animals in the style of cute infants. He had an obvious Disney influence, but looked like an awkward merger of the lean and streamlined Max Hare from The Tortoise in the Air, 1935, and the round soft bunnies from Little Hiawatha, 1937. The prototype of Bugs made his fourth appearance in Elmer's Candid Camera, 1940, the short which marked the first appearance of the official version of Tex Avery's character, Elmer Fudd. The cartoon set in to play the antagonistic relationship that would develop between Elmer and Bugs Bunny over the years. By this time, the appearance and personality of the rabbit had become very like the classic Bugs, though the rabbit is portrayed as more malicious than would become the standard for Bugs. The rabbit appeared with a cameo role in 1940's Patient Porky, that same year, Tex Avery directed A Wild Hare, a short featuring Elmer Fudd hunting a rabbit. It had Ben Hardaway's rabbit redesigned and revised with a new personality and even a different voice. The resulting rabbit character was given a new name, Bugs Bunny. 
and Chuck Jones's 1941 follow-up to A Wild Hair, Elmer's Pet Rabbit. In recent years, many animation historians identify these four prototype Bugs Bunny cartoons as Bugs Bunny's early cartoons before he reaches his fame in A Wild Hair, as evident in documentaries such as The Wabbit Turns 50 from WWOR in 1990. Even Cartoon Network's June Bugs marathons over the years acknowledges this by airing the Happy Rabbit cartoons alongside all the other Bugs Bunny cartoons. And in some interviews with a character designer, Robert Bob Gibbons indicates that both Bugs Bunny and Ben Hardaway's rabbit are, indeed, the one and same rabbit. In the deleted scenes of the 2003 film Looney Tunes Back in Action, Bugs is zapped by the Blue Monkey Diamond which regresses its targets to more primitive forms. Bugs briefly appears as his prototype form of himself. In a scene in the new Looney Tunes episode, One Character in Search of an Artist, Bugs is given a makeover by an off-screen animator, who is later revealed to be Daffy at the end. In this brief sequence, Bugs looked like his third prototype in Harem Scarum. In addition, this sequence was produced in black and white as an homage to their earliest appearances. Bugs dismisses it as too retro 